Hey you guys. So I've got something a little bit different for us today. At our studio, we use the sliders a lot. They're great for working single side. They're great for adding instability to force you to use those stabilizing muscles and to use your core. But that may not be something that everybody has at home. What we probably do have at home are either washcloths or paper plates. So if you're on carpet, you're gonna need to grab two paper plates. If you're on hardwoods, grab two washcloths. So I've got my washcloths. The first exercise we're gonna do is a back lunge and we only need one. So I'm gonna take my washcloth. I'm gonna put it under one foot and my toes and ball of the foot are gonna be on that washcloth. I'm standing on the opposite leg, squeeze the belly button in, shoulders up, back and down. I'm gonna slide back into a back lunge and then push through the heel, come all the way back up to standing. Slide back, push through that front heel, come all the way up to standing. I'm gonna go 10 on one side and then I'm gonna switch and go 10 on the other side. Slide back, push through the heel, come all the way up, 10 each side. From there, I'm gonna put the washcloth back under the foot at the toe and the ball of the foot. Shoulders up, back and down, squeeze that belly button in. I'm gonna keep my chest up as I slide out to the side, push through the heel, come all the way back in together. So we're doing a lateral lunge and you're really forcing this standing leg to do all the work. You can't push off when you've got a slider up under the other side. We're gonna go 10 on one side, and then we're gonna switch and go 10 on the other side. Keeping those feet parallel, keeping the chest up, slide out, push, step back in. From there, we're gonna go to the mat. We've still got one more lower body exercise before we move on, and we're gonna use both of our slides, both of our paper plates or washcloths, whichever one we have. They're gonna go up under our heels this time. So you're gonna lay all the way back on your mat with your arms down by your side. You're gonna push through your heels, squeeze your buns, lift your hips up. So we've got our glutes engaged. We're gonna slide out with one leg, hamstring curl, come back in. You're gonna go 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and then if you're feeling strong, go 10, both legs out, squeeze back in. Don't let the butt hit the floor. Squeeze up, slide out, squeeze back in. From there, we're gonna flip over and work upper body. Hands under the shoulders. We're gonna be in a modified plank. Knees on, the mat, squeeze that belly button in, you're going to slide out with one hand, push back in, single arm push up, slide out, press back up in there, slide out, press, 10 each side on that single arm push up, from there we're going to come into a high plank, hands are going to stay on your slides, toes are going to come onto the floor. You want your feet a little bit wider than your hands. Shift forward, squeeze everything in towards your center line, pull your shoulders down and away from your ears. From here, we're going to start to make circles with one hand. It forces you to stabilize on the other side. So I can really feel this in my obliques, in my shoulder, on my left side when I'm moving my right hand and then I feel it on my right side when I'm moving my left hand. You can try 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way, and then switch arms. From here, we've got one more, and it is a great core move. We're gonna put our toes down on our slides, our forearms down on our mat. You're gonna come into a low plank. We're gonna slide back, push back, Squeeze in, slide back, squeeze in, 10 times, and then you're going to hold for 30 seconds in your low plank. You get lower body, you get upper body, 
you get a lot of core, you get a lot of shoulders, you get a lot of glutes, all things that we need, and it's something different. One of my clients and I were laughing earlier this week that we feel like we have done every dumbbell workout that we can possibly do while she's been training at home. So I hope this gives you something fresh to add into your workouts. Try it, let me know what you think. Thanks guys, have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. I'll see you next week.